welcome back everyone to a fun nature photography adventure. Today I'm out at Blue Mountain State Park, located just outside Mount Horeb in Wisconsin. Going to be doing a couple trails, trying to find a spring house, and hopefully getting some really cool shots out of this. So definitely stay tuned and here's hoping for a fun adventure. Oh, so I have found this little spring house. It is just, it is adorable. Unfortunately, there's a picnic table behind it, so I might have to edit that out in post, but you know, things happen at state parks. Uh, but so lined up this composition, I'm looking pretty much uh, kind of slight bit of an angle at it and have the, have the stream running out in front of it. And due to the time of day, definitely had to set up a tripod and I'm also using exposure bracketing in hopes to actually be able to capture this. Uh, so it looks like I'm at one fifth of a second and doing five different exposures here. Okay, well here's hoping that shot's gonna turn out good. I'll show it to you in just a second either way, but have a good feeling and here's hoping editing does this justice. Okay, so I've got the light just barely coming through the trees. I, I like the way the path is looking in front of me here, so I'm gonna get a nice shot of the path. Uh, so set up my tripod again, going for, uh, I believe, 5.3 composition. And I've got it so that the path kind of disappears on the upper third point of my photo. Gonna try to use that for, you know, trying to get a good composition. Uh, so, Again, due to the time of day, I'm definitely gonna turn on exposure bracketing because better safe than sorry with that one. And let's see. Okay, so it looks like I'm at about one six of a second, F9, ISO 100. And I've got my focus set just right where the path disappears. So here's hoping this turns out good. But regardless, here it is. Okay, so I came across this really interesting composition. I got this mossy log right in front of me here, and this one last little leaf with some color on it. And I like the way the two just, you know, stand out against each other. So what I'm gonna do is shoot a 16 by nine shot of this. And again, definitely gonna use some exposure bracketing. Uh, Cause, yep, as with everything else in this video, better safe than sorry at this time of day. So, looks like in order to get this exposed, I'm gonna need about a fourth of a second, and I'm shooting it at F9 ISO 100. So I'm gonna wait until the breeze stops, and I can get a nice, good, crisp shot of this. Ah. 
Okay, well hopefully one of those turned out good, but regardless, after some editing, here's the finished product. Okay, so further down the Willow Spring Trail now, uh, but we actually have just a little bit of water in the creek bed here. Uh, there's been so little over the course of this, but you, you gotta admire every little chunk. And honestly, we have these just gorgeous rocks with moss and the leaves floating in the water. I am just loving what's going on in this. So I lined up a composition here that is you know, it incorporates a lot of the rocks surrounding it, the pool in the middle, and I've got a rock kind of centered on the bottom third. Uh, so hopefully this is going to turn out to be a really good composition. Uh, so, I'm going to shoot this at F9. And definitely going to take a couple shots, because with how still everything is down here, I definitely want to focus stack this one to be able to get just everything crisp and sharp, and I think it's going to be gorgeous. So first shot, I'm going to focus on the rock. And then I'm going to take a couple more focusing on elements farther back to tr make sure I get everything in focus. Okay, well I think this one turned out really well. Uh, definitely hoping for the best. Went with the 4-3 composition on it, and here it is. Well, we are almost back to the car here. I uh, just finished Willow Springs Trail. Uh, it's been a gorgeous day out, uh, so definitely thank you for joining on the adventure. And if you like this, definitely be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons, and hopefully I will see you on the next one.